thought I'd do a quick video to uh, kind of reflect on the little project I did this weekend. And I really wanted to answer the question, is AI able to replace programmers? For those of you that don't know, I'm not a programmer. I've never written a line of code in my life. So I thought I'd give it a go and see if I could build up a, a website purely on AI. Uh, and I wanted to embed a chatbot that is able to answer questions uh, on one of our products, uh, Odin Checkpoint. So I set out on about uh, nine o'clock on Sunday morning uh, to try and figure out to see if I could build this uh, website um, completely no code using prompts on various different websites. And I've uh, shared the link below with what I was able to build. And I used two applications. The one is N8N, which is basically an automation tool where I built in the uh, AI chatbot that is able to query a set of data that I put in uh, through a bunch of YouTubing, I was able to set up a vector database and get a AI agent using ChatGPT and N8N to actually query a set of data I put in on the product uh, and answer questions, which is pretty interesting. And then for a front end, I actually used a product called Lovable, which is a pretty interesting name. But anyway, this is a completely prompt driven website builder. And I was able to connect N8N through webhooks into this lovable application that was then able to build up a website and I put a bunch of pictures and text that explains what Checkpoint is. I embedded the chatbot that I had built in N8N into this website. To, to answer the, the, the question of whether AI will take over programmers, um, obviously not. This is definitely not a final product that could potentially go to market, but I think it's definitely close where a person like me that's never been able to build a website or even write a line of code, I was able to produce this in basically one day. So about by five o'clock that afternoon, I was able to uh, show off to my wife that uh, I've actually built a website with an AI chatbot, completely no code. So check it out, give me your opinion. Uh, if you'd like me to do a more detailed explanation as to how I did it, uh, let me know in the comments below. Here's another Thursday thought.